Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, the next part of the story happens a few years later. So we've got this, this gap in between sightings and things moving. Apart from my aunt, she had actually came, she came into the property and also round about 1998 told the, the spirits to leave us alone. And so everything seems to be quiet. So that's round about 1998. So we're now fast forwarding to 2006. And I actually purchased the property in 2006. I had the means to do so. Now you're probably all thinking, why would you purchase a house that you know to be haunted? Well, why not? I mean, someone has to live here. And it wasn't really practical for me to go anywhere else. Uh, the property prices are a lot more expensive if I've chosen somewhere else. So I chose to stay here. Then I didn't have to move anything. Everything's still in here. The only difference is, is I'm purchasing the property instead of renting. So that's what I did in 2006. So come 2008, things start getting a little bit odd again. So from 1998 to 2008, it seems to be very quiet. Maybe the odd thing happening here and there, but nothing, nothing too, too major. And so in 2008, I, I needed to find a, a letter and I kept all my paperwork together and I asked my daughter if she would help me to look through the, these papers. So we were on the on the bedroom floor facing the landing window and she's helping me to look through all my paperwork for, the, for this letter. At the same time, my nephew and his friend who's a joiner are also in the house because they are fitting new doors for me because I decided to give my house a complete makeover and to make it look as attractive as, as possible. So they're fitting new doors and at this point they're actually fitting the bathroom door. And now the bathroom door before was, was very, very old and I do believe it was the original bathroom door to the house. I think that was 1950 it's it looked it looked that old i think it was the original door the original bathroom door so they're fitting me new doors and they're taking the the doors up, up and down the stairs you know shaving a bit more wood off trying to fit it and me and my daughter are in the room trying to sort through my paperwork and we're also playing practical jokes on one another, like really tormenting each other, being really playful. It's a nice light evening and we're all having fun and, 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 and enjoying what we're doing. And we're also trying to make each other jump as well. So as me and my daughter were, were sorting through the paperwork and the light is shining in from the landing window, the, the light gets blocked. So we we immediately look up because it's, it's blocked the light on, from what we're doing. And we look up and we just see the back end of a, of a man walking into the bathroom. And he's wearing like the, the white t-shirt and, and, and light blue jeans and similar clothes to what my nephew and his friend were wearing. So we're like, oh, they're trying to sneak in the bathroom. So when we walk past, they're gonna make us jump. So I said to my daughter, I'm gonna make them jump first. So I, I got up and I, I tiptoed to the bathroom and between the bath and the, there's like a, a built-in cupboard. There's a bit of a gap where you can hide around the side. And I thought they were going to be hiding there. So I, I, I crept to the bathroom and I went to make them jump and I looked around this corner and there was nobody there. So I says to my daughter, they're not there. 
there's nobody there and I looked out the landing window which looks onto the back of the property and my nephew and his friend are out there still shaving the wood off the door so who is this man who walked in the bathroom both me and my daughter saw this man so there's a few other incidents where things are there's a lot of crashing sounds in in the house and there was this one night when we were all in bed and it sounded like the whole bathroom had collapsed shelves <laughs> everything had just like collapsed into the bath and it was so loud and we thought oh, what if someone was trying to break in we we actually did call the police on one occasion that's happened twice in the bathroom it's happened in in, in other rooms as well and during like other years of the, of the timeline of, of, of hauntings. So another time was I had a rotor day off work and what I did was I I compressed all my hours into other days. So I'd only be working four days and then I'd have three days off. And this one day I had a rotor day off. I, I, was, I was making a phone call and I was placed on hold for <laughs> a painful amount of time and I'm, I'm sitting at this table where I'm at now and I've got the landline phone and I'm just like sitting there and my mum's sit, sitting on the sofa and this, this is an afternoon and um, the, the girls are at school or college and I keep looking at my mum and I'm rolling my eyes thinking I'm still on hold and and then this one time when I look at my mum to you know, give her that look. You know, as I say, I'm, you know, I'm still on hold. Still, no, no one's, no one's come to me, and she's looking at me in a really, really strange way. And she's got this fearful expression on, on her face, and without saying anything, her eyes are guiding me to look at something. But I'm just at this point, I'm just fixated on my mum because at first I'm thinking, why, why is she looking at me like that? And at this point, we, we had uh, the, the wooden laminate floors fitted. So she's like, she's looking at me and, I'm, and I follow her eyes. I follow her gaze. She's trying to guide me with her eyes to, to, to look at something. And I do. And my youngest daughter's carry car seat which is a toy a four-in-one toy is rocking backwards and forwards and it's it's like a seesaw it's hitting the floor one side and then rocking back very slowly hitting the other side and then it's going to the other side and it's just doing that quite a few times now the handle was down on it so you can have it as like a little toy carry car seat what you place your dolls in but the handle was down, so it had kept it quite stable. So it couldn't have really rocked without force being applied to it. So and even if it, it even if it did rock, it would have maybe rocked gently on its own. But this was this was like with force, and it was very slow. And this was in the afternoon. Now, my daughter had been at school since half past eight that morning. So why would this toy just decide to start rocking on its own at that point? So the, another thing that, that happened round about the same time was my aunt and uncle came to, to visit just to have a cup of tea with us. And they are the parents of the of my cousin who's a school teacher who I mentioned in a a previous a previous video. And my aunt is still the same aunt who who I mentioned who'd also told the spirits to leave us alone. They they're they're sitting here at this table having a cup of tea. I'm actually out at this point because I'm fetching one of my daughters from school. And when I come back, my uncle's like, oh, Alison, you missed it. When you were out, we were all sitting here around the table talking. And next minute, there's this crashing sound coming from the bedroom. And there's no one else in the house at that point, apart from my mum, my aunt and my uncle. So I'm like, oh, no, I can't, I can't believe that I've missed it. And but as he's, as he's telling me, as, as we're, we're talking, this crashing sound appears again. And so we go upstairs and there's nobody upstairs and nothing has fallen, nothing at all has fallen. 
So I, it was just really crazy as he was telling me what what he'd heard, what, what they'd all heard, that I then, it happens again and, and we all hear it together. And there was another time when a similar thing did happen. It may have been of Halloween night that year where we're all sitting down watching TV and it sounded like the whole wardrobe in, in that bedroom had come crashing down, contents, everything had just smacked down and you just expected it to fall through the ceiling. It was that loud. But when we went up to investigate, there was nothing out of place. The wardrobe was still where it was, all the toys, all the, the, the console, everything, just everything was still in its place. Nothing had moved. So what are these, these crashing sounds? It's happened in different rooms in the house. Uh, so we, we have no idea why that has happened. So it's, again, it starts to resurrect itself. Everything that, you know, we've, we've had that, that few years, that, that bit of a lull in, in, in things where nothing's really happened. There hasn't really been that that many sightings, if at all, nothing's really uh, moved out of place. But all of a sudden, 10 years later, things start getting exciting again. And there's, it seems to be resurrecting itself. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you to everyone who's subscribing. Thank you to everybody who's watching. I hope that you are enjoying these stories there's a lot more to come so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and please hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video thank you